people who were there were concerned about a relationship between an older gentleman and a very young juvenile and they called worried about the interaction there. So when the officers got out there, they actually made contact with the subject and the girl in the room. Upon doing so, it was clear that there was an ongoing sexual relationship that had been occurring between the older male and the girl. Um, the male subject was arrested for unlawful sex acts on a minor and was brought into the Palm Bay Police Department. Um, both parties admitted that there was an ongoing sexual relationship between the two of them. They had apparently met uh, via social media a few months back. The individual had even commented how he knew that their relationship was illegal in the state of Florida because he had researched it prior to traveling from Sweden to Florida in order to engage in the sexual relationship with the juvenile. Um, at that point, uh, he was arrested. We effected a search warrant on the hotel room. Uh, we recovered items there related to the case as well as his Sweden, Swedish passport and all of his luggage and everything else pertaining to the investigation as is. But how is the girl? The girl, how is she? Yeah. She is doing as well as can be expected under the circumstances. What kind of assistance does she get? She'll be getting all kinds of different counseling that will be done through the Department of Children and the Families and any other services that are rendered as a result of her family's cooperation. And what about the man, the, the Swedish man? What can you tell me about his circumstances at the moment? Right now he's still in custody and he's got a $150,000 bond on top of a no bond status for using the internet to lure and entice a juvenile. So what will happen to him next? Well, what's next is uh, there'll be several court appearances that'll determine as to how long he will be in there. Um, eventually he will actually end up going to court, you know, going to trial, which will determine whether or not he has, in fact, been found guilty of the crime. If he is found guilty, he faces up to a very lengthy prison sentence.